Hi there, this summer Kobo released a brand new and refreshed Clara 2E and I gotta say, this is my favorite Kobo you can buy right now. The original Clara HD was my favorite for many years, but it slowly became outdated. With all the refreshed and updates they did to the Clara 2E, I have to recommend it again. It's the best Kobo you can buy. Now I'm gonna explain why I feel this is the best Kobo you can buy, but the first thing you're probably wondering is why are they calling it the Clara 2E? Why not just the Clara 2? Now the E stands for eco-conscious. They are making a huge effort for an eco-friendly device in the Clara 2E. 85% of the plastic used in this exterior shell is recycled materials. 10% of that was gonna end up in the ocean. On top of that, they're also committing to preventing 200,000 plastic bottles from ending up in the ocean and also removing 1 million CDs and DVDs from our landfills. I think this is such an awesome initiative that Kobo is doing. It's a huge marketing effort they're putting into the device. We'll talk more about the design of this device and how it reflects that as well. I'm definitely curious where this is coming from all of a sudden, especially this ocean emphasis. Somebody at Kobo really cares about our ocean but I'm not complaining about that. It is such an awesome thing to see. Now, in terms of design, the biggest change they made on the Kobo Clara 2E is the power button on the back over here. The previous model had the power button on the bottom. It was really frustrating to press. And actually, they took my feedback. I always recommend power buttons being on the back of the device in a circular design, and that's exactly what they did. I really love this new location for the power button. I also love the way it's circular and very easy to press, especially for holding it with one hand. I just love this update all around. Thank you, Kobo, for moving your power button. Now, speaking of the back of the device over here, the entire back is, again, that recycled material that we were talking about, and they also introduced this new pattern. The previous Kobo had this dotted pattern, but the Clara 2E now has this wavy pattern going along with that ocean theme. Another thing that I had no idea that I was going to get is this blue color on the back. When you buy the Clara 2E, it only comes in black, but actually the back of the device is not black, it's this very deep dark blue, and I really really enjoy it. Again, it's going along with that ocean emphasis. I love blue, it's my favorite color if you couldn't tell, but seeing on the back of this device as an unexpected surprise definitely made me really happy. Now the front of this device is also all plastic, but I gotta say the plastic is not this cheap plastic. The back is more of a matte finish and the front of the device has this glossy finish to it. Now this device is also missing a flush glass display on the front of the screen over here. Normally, this is something that I would complain about because it takes away from that premium design feeling of having a flush screen. But on an e-reader, something that I am realizing is that actually having less layers of glass and plastic make the text even more crispy to read on, and that's definitely true with this device. Even though there's no flush screen on the front of the screen over here, I actually prefer that. It's growing on me every single day I use it. The text just feels so sharp to read. Now this device is using a 300 PPI resolution e-ink Kartra 1200 display. What that means in normal words is the industry standard for e-readers. It has the highest quality screen that you can expect from any Kobo or Kindle. It is really sharp. It has a same screen that you would expect on the higher end devices, so no worries there at all in terms of screen resolution. The Clara 2E also offers dark mode support, so you can invert your colors depending on your personal preference. And there's also adjustable warm light, which is something that I think is an essential feature, especially if you read at night. Kobo markets this feature as Comfort Light Pro. It's basically this warm tinted color that comes up on the screen, which makes your device a bit more natural and pleasant to look at while you're reading at night. So I definitely recommend that if you read it at night in bed especially. Now this device does not have an ambient light sensor like you might see on some of the higher end e-readers. That's not the biggest deal. All that means you'll have to adjust the brightness manually. So if you move around quite a bit, that might get a little annoying, but it's not a deal breaker by any means. One other major selling point of the Clara 2E that sets it apart from all the other Kobos and even Kindles out there is the six inch display. This is definitely on the smaller size when it comes to e-reader screens. And I have to say, after using my Paperwhite and my other Kobos with the larger screen, going back to a smaller size screen was a very refreshing experience. It just feels a lot more compact to hold, more portable to carry around with me. I also love how the screen size is smaller, so I am turning pages a lot more often, which makes me feel like I'm reading faster. That's all in my head though, so it's not actually a hack to read quicker. But 
I definitely do enjoy it. It's definitely a refreshing experience. Now, what hasn't been so refreshing is the ghosting problems I've seen on this device. I've actually had to adjust the refresh rate down to every two pages. It's definitely the biggest complaint I have. Let me talk more about the ghosting issues I have. Now, the only time I see these ghosting issues is when I take notes or highlight things while I read. That's something I do a lot as a nonfiction reader. What I always see when I highlight on this device is the highlight kind of carries over to the next page. Normally that's not a big deal, but it actually is really, really visible. And especially when I take a note on this device, I type in my note and there's a save button. That save button is kind of ghosted on the screen for multiple pages, very, very visible. It is really frustrating. I had to go in and change the refresh rate to every two pages, which completely wipes the screen clean every two pages. It takes up more battery life, but I had to do it and it has worked after I made that change, but I've never had this issue before on any other device. Now, again, I only see these issues when I take notes on this device. So if you aren't a note taker, you're not gonna have any problem with this. And even if you do take notes, it's a very easy fix. Just adjust the refresh rate. And I do hope Kobo will fix this with a future software update. And maybe it's the hardware issue. If that's the case, that would kind of suck. But if it's a software issue, they can definitely fix this down the road. We'll have to see. Now, speaking of highlighting and taking notes, the other complaint I have is the device just feels a bit more sluggish than I'm used to as well. Taking notes especially is really slow. Typing on this device is worse than I'm used to. As well as the highlighting, I really don't like highlighting on this device. Putting the ghosting issues aside, putting the toggles exactly where I want them to be. It works definitely better than my Nook, but not as nice as my Kindle. It's kind of in the middle. The experience could definitely be improved. Some other notable features of the Clara 2e, this device does have a one gigahertz processor, which is pretty standard in today's world. It also has 16 gigs of storage, which is definitely an increase from what we're used to seeing. This probably won't affect most people uh, books on your e-reader don't really take up much storage, but it will impact people who use audiobooks. and this device does have built-in Bluetooth. So if you wanna pair the Kobo Clara 2e with Bluetooth speakers or Bluetooth headphones, having that extra storage for audiobooks will definitely come in handy. Some other quality of life upgrades, this device also has waterproofing, which is really helpful for people who like to read in the bath or in the pool or by the beach. And also we finally have USB-C on the Clara. I love this the most. I travel quite a bit with my e-readers, so having one charging cable for all my devices is really helpful. In terms of battery life, I've only had this device now for a few weeks, and it does work really, really well. They advertise multiple weeks of battery life for any Kobo you buy, but that hasn't always been true. With this device so far, I haven't had any issues. I do imagine this battery will be just fine. If I have any issues down the road, I will leave an update in the comments down below. Now, one other thing I wanna talk about is the case that I bought alongside the Clara 2e. This sleep cover is my favorite case that I've ever gotten with an e-reader. I just love the color of it. The sea grass color is so nice going along with that ocean theme. They also have a orange coral one, which looks really, really nice too. The sea grass one is currently sold out, but it just goes to show how popular these cases are. Now, unlike other sleep cover cases, this one has one extra feature, which really makes me happy to use it. It has a kickstand built in, so you can fold the case in and use it as a kickstand at any orientation, which makes really on this device really helpful if you don't want to hold it with your hands. It also has a cutout on the back for the power button, but opening it up will wake it up automatically and closing it will put the device to sleep automatically as well. The sleep cover costs $29. It also uses recycled materials. So again, going along with that eco-conscious theme, definitely a good investment in my opinion. You don't need a case, but if you can afford it, it definitely makes using the Kobo a bit more fun. Let's do a quick recap of all the features of the Clara 2e. The Clara 2e has a price of $129. US dollars. It only comes in one configuration. You can't upgrade anything. I actually really like the simplicity of this. It makes buying this device so easy. The device has a six inch screen with 300 PPI resolution, which is the same resolution you're gonna find on all the higher end e-readers. And the six inch screen is very, very portable and compact, which is definitely a selling point compared to other devices. With the display, you're also getting adjustable warm light control in dark mode, which comes in very handy for reading at night especially. And you're also getting built-in waterproofing so you can read in the bath or by the pool if you wanna do that. The Clara 2e also has built-in Bluetooth support, which could be great for listening to audiobooks. You also have more storage for storing those audiobooks. 
and the device also comes with USB-C so you can charge it with one cable along all your other devices. Most importantly, the Clara 2E is eco-friendly. 85% recycled materials on the plastic of this device. That's the most recycled materials I've seen on a plastic shelf or any device before. Definitely respect Kobo for doing that. And if you wanna learn more about the Kobo experience in terms of the software, there's so much more to talk about in terms of actually using this device. I have a whole video that compares Kobo to Kindle so you can see all the differences there. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.